Welcome back to my retro gaming room in VR using MUVR Beta. This is a basic tutorial on adding DOS games. If you want to know how to add other types of games or customize your room, check the links below for some of my other tutorial videos. Open your MUVR folder and then open games. Create a new folder called DOS. The DOS folder is where you'll place all of your DOS game folders. I'm going to add Doom. Place the game folder inside the DOS folder and then open it to view the files. Look for the execution files listed as applications under File Type. If you want, click Type to sort the files by type. Find the file used to launch the game. For Doom, the file is called Doom.exe. Now that we know the name of the file used to launch the game, create an empty document by right-clicking inside the window. Go to New, and then select Text Document. Don't worry about renaming the new text document because you don't need it for long. Open the new text document, go to File, Save As, and enter the name of the file used to launch the game. So for this game, I'll enter Doom.exe but I'll also add .evrdos at the end. Click save and then close the document. Now the file you just saved will be added to the games folder and the file type should say evrdos file. Now go to the muvr game scanner and open it. First click Attempt Autofill, Autofill, and then OK. Click Save Changes and then click Download Missing Cores if it's available. Click Update Core List, click OK, Save Changes, then click Scan Games for MUVR. After the scan completes, close the scanner and you should be all set. Apply these same steps for adding more games, but just remember that each game should have its own folder and you'll need to create an EVR DOS file for every game. So as you can see, I now have a generic DOS console to play the games on, and here's the game that I added, and I went ahead and put a custom label on that. If you want to know how to do that yourself, just uh, check out my other tutorial video. So let's turn the light off and check this game out. I'll be using a, a keyboard, just so you know. As you can see, it works perfect. Let's say you want to start the game from the DOS prompt. Go to that game's folder and create another empty document, but name this one folder.evrdos. So now you'll have two evrdos files. Open the game scanner run a scan, and then start up MUVR. Now you'll have a second cartridge for that game called Folder, where you can sometimes access setup options before launching a game. For example, some games won't have any sound unless you go into the setup and select sound card settings before launching. And that's it! If you want to add proper labels to the cartridges, check out my basic tutorial video in the link below.
Yeah. <laughs>